Listen, can we talk about it? We all know that it's worlds within worlds. We all know that it's other dimension. We all know it's other galaxies. We all know it's things that they don't tell us about. And if you have a super third eye like I have, and you're very intuitive, and you read energy like I have, you know it's worlds within worlds. So this comes as no surprise that scientists in Massachusetts have been discovering that it's an ocean under the ocean. And that makes sense. And it's underneath the Earth's core, and it's three times bigger than the regular ocean. And can we talk about it? Listen, if you've seen Pacific Rim, you know that kaijus and aliens come from the ocean. The ocean is the most unexplored place on Earth. It's still things about the ocean we don't know. It's still creatures in the ocean we don't know about. So them finding out that it's a whole another ocean under the ocean makes sense. We, you seen that movie, The Meg? I like the movie, The Meg, with Jason Statham, because they felt the... Um, they found the Meg under the water, so he was all the way under the water. So they was living in a whole another um, ocean under the sea, and that's where you know where the mermaids live at, where the city of Atlantis lives at, where the aliens live at, the Anunnaki. It's a lot that lives in the water. We are mostly water. We are seventy percent water. You all seen Avatar, where the water? It's again, it's so many references where I could go to this. You just seen a new Black Panther movie where they was fighting Namor. He was in the city of Atlantis, and this just goes to show that this world is bigger than we think it is. This world is older than we think it is. This world is more powerful and has more secrets than we think it is. It's probably a whole other world under the ocean that we can't reach because we don't have the equipment. We can't breathe underwater. We are just not equipped to go that deep underwater, and we're not supposed to see this stuff. It's stuff on Earth that we're not supposed to see. If God wanted us to see everything, we would. our eyes would see every spectrum of light. Our ears would hear every sound, every frequency like dogs. Our nose would be able to smell everything like dogs. We would have all types of senses if we was meant to see more than our five senses. But no, God limited our senses for a reason because we would have sensory overload if you was to just perceive everything in this world. It would be like Spider-Man. Remember when Spider-Man got his spider sense and he couldn't see what was going on? It'd be like that. You'd just be feeling everything all at once. And a Superman. When Superman got his powers, his hearing power, he was hearing everything all over, you'd be overloaded. That's why God let us focus on what we focus on. We can't even focus on the stuff we focus on. So, of course, I'm not surprised that they found another ocean under the ocean. I believe it's another planet under the planets. Again, we all seen Alien sci-fi movie. I'm with the ish. It's 2024. It's aliens in Miami. We, The government already confirmed that it's aliens in the sky. Why do you think it wouldn't be aliens in the water? Can we talk about it? I know it's underwater. It's again, it's, it's ancient species, ancient worlds, ancient lands, the city of Atlantis, and other cities. It can't just be Atlantis. It's multiple flooded cities. Because if you know how the world was, it was all Pangea. It was one um, la man, la I mean, last uh, uh, land mass. Say that three times fast. Get your um, tongue tied. It was one landmass, and the world broke apart. So it's parts of the world that are still submerged and still flooded. And I believe that it's whole other worlds under there that we haven't discovered yet. And we don't have the submarine. We have the capability. Look at that submarine expedition that tried to go find the Titanic. They couldn't even find a Titanic wreck without the submarine imploding. We are not meant to go deep underwater. We don't have gills, and we are not fish. All right? And we don't have the technology able to go deep, deep, deep. And if they do, they're not telling us about it. Joe Biden probably been deep, deep, deep underwater because he's definitely an alien of some sort of uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Again, the creature from the Black Lagoon, all of these things. Again, it's, the water is the most powerful thing in this world. Without water, we'd be nothing. You could live without food for a while. You cannot live without water. For more than a few days, you dehydrate and you would die. Water is the essence of life. Water is the life. So I 100% believe that they found an ocean under this ocean and it's big underneath the Earth's core. Because, again, we don't know what's down there. We don't know who lives down there. All right? I'll take you to some places in Vegas in New York City in the tunnel system. You'd be like, who lives there? It's a whole world in the New York City tunnel system of millions of people, especially with the migrants. There. That's probably a million people underground in New York. Again, so if there's people underground, it's people underground that, underground that, underground that, and it's secret worlds. It's probably worlds we've never seen. It's probably people that haven't seen light in thousands of years, um, generations of people underground and in the land and in the world and in the ocean and in the sky too, aliens. We not alone because if we are alone, I won't, do not want to be alone with y'all. I hope it is aliens and something else under there 
or just mermen, people that, again, we've seen a little mermaid, people that live under the ocean, mer people, sirens. Again, we've heard stories about people living under the ocean for millennia, and it's going to be stories after that forever. Why wouldn't you think it's an underground world under there? They probably look at us the same way we look at them, the surface dwellers. Again, you know how all the movies, Little Mermaid, um, Black Panther 2, how they treat the surface dwellers. We pollute our oceans. We got fake fish, tilapia. We got we do all types of stuff in the oceans. Again, we just pollute this whole planet. So, of course, they wouldn't want to see us and like us. Because who likes humans? Can we talk about it? What you think is under there? All right? We've seen Pacific Rim. I got a few ideas. We're going to be doing a little bit more Conspiracy Corp. This is your favorite. Y'all love Conspiracy Corp. When I talk that conspiracy-ish. Can we talk about it?